<clears throat> okay. Um, today I want to talk about being black in Guatemala. Somebody left me a message on one of my previous YouTube videos asking me what it's like being black in Guatemala. I'm going to tell you a few of my experiences and what I think about the whole situation. Um, the first thing I want to say is being black is not your main concern when in Guatemala. Your main concern is being ripped off as a North American tourist. If they see you a tourist and a gringo and whatnot, they're going to overcharge you for everything. Bus rides, cab rides, food, hotels, and this goes on throughout the whole entire country. So that's your main concern. Now as far as being black, there was a situation that happened in the Linnea Dorado bus station in Guatemala City where this guy he came to the back of the bus station and he was like block, right? And at the time, I could see like his shoes and his legs. I wasn't really looking up at him because I didn't want to be bothered at the time. And he kind of went to the front um, bus station portion. And then he came back to where I was and he was like, block. And I looked up at him and he had his thumbs up and he was like, block. He was mispronouncing black. And he was like, you know, you're black, you're cool. You know, and I just thought that was very interesting. Um, on the flip side of the coin, when I was taking the bus, the chicken bus from Antigua, Guatemala to Guatemala City, I noticed no one wanted to sit next to me. Even the seats behind me got filled before somebody actually sat next to me. I was the last seat, you know, av available. And the same thing happened when I was taking the six passenger bus slash van from Santa Elena, Guatemala to the border of Guatemala and Belize, which is Melcor de Menos, I think. And when we pull up to the border of Guatemala and Belize, um, I didn't know it was the border, so I continued sitting in, in my seat all the way in the back. But people was kind of like forcing themselves, they was getting in, they was forcing themselves in the middle seat. Nobody wanted to sit back there with me. And I mean, I don't know why. I guess, you know, I scared them or whatever. I did have on my hoodie with my shorts and whatnot. But um, the vibes in general down in Guatemala, they wasn't racist. They wasn't um, prejudiced. People look at you with a surprising um, curiosity kind of look. Even the police. When I... Um, ran into the traffic police in Antigua, Guatemala. They looked at me with a surprising, curious, but uneasy look. You know, they was like, you know, somewhat confused because they usually don't see black folks down there. If you do receive any negative energies from people, most likely it's going to be your fellow North Americans. For example, when I was in Antigua, Guatemala, um, I was talking with one, th one of the indigenous people about buying jewelry because they try to sell you everything under the sun. So be prepared for that. Um, I was talking to her and I saw this older black guy pass me. And, you know, he kind of looked back at me, you know, with surprise. He was like, you know, what are you doing here? <laughs> like, I'm supposed to be the ambassador for black people, not you. What are you doing here? That's the way he was looking at me. And I kind of nodded my head to him and he gave me a somewhat nasty look and walked off. And that's the thing about it. If you do receive any negative vibes from people, most likely it's going to be your fellow North Americans. For example, if you go to some of my previous videos and you look in the background very closely, you can see other gringos looking at me like, what is he doing down here kind of thing. So, but the um, local people are very cool and down to earth, so you have nothing to worry about, I think. As far as danger, the only time I felt danger was when I was crossing the Mexico slash Guatemala border. Now, down there, that border is very unsecure, and anybody can pretend to be anybody down there. Those guys, the moment you get off the bus, they bombard you. They see you a tourist, they bombard you. They start asking you for money. They just be thirsty all on you. You got dudes down there pretending to be police, talking about giving your passport. And, you know, if you give them your passport, they hold it for ransom, talking about give me $20, give me $20. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to give you anything. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to be very... um. Uh, assertive with those guys down there you feel me and even when you get on the bus on the Guatemala side to continue on in Guatemala City they follow you until you get on the bus man and when I gave a few of those guys some catch solves they act like they was fighting over it you know it was it was real crazy man it felt like my free will was giving up it reminded me of the projects back in the 90s so keep that in mind when you enter that Guatemala border to experience it is a whole different thing from me explaining it 
okay? Um, as far as Guatemala City, you see a few seedy looking characters around, but it's just like any other major city. And you see cops just randomly standing on the street corner with big old shotguns in their hands, just posted. You see it in Guatemala also. They, they just look like they be there all day, just posted, you know. Um, but, as a black American, um, like I said before, you don't, I don't receive any racist vibes. Also, if you do some research about Morehouse College, I think they take a trip down to um, Guatemala every year, you know, to, as, as a diversity training class or something like that. You know, so you can do research about that and, you know, they and Morehouse is a predominantly black college down in a male black college down in Atlanta. So they seem to be cool with it. So I don't think um, Guatemala is threatening for black Americans. I think you should um, go there. And like I said, if you do receive anything negative from people, most likely it's going to be your fellow Americans or it's... Um, is going to be the uneasy, um, curious, surprising looks you receive from people. But for the most part, people are cool down there. So that's it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> if you have any questions, man, just leave, um, leave it in the chat box, well, in the comment section, and I'll get back to you. So peace. Have fun on your vacation.